Welcome, fellow fans of Clash of Clans, and thank you so much for choosing to invest a few minutes of your day with Galadon and episode number 95 of Gold Pass Clash. That is right, where we have not forgotten about the Builder Base, where in today's episode, we will cover two months in one video. That is right, two months of footage in one video. Well, okay, the two months are November and December, but we're getting caught up. It is the holiday season. Obviously, the Jolly Warden is here. Love him or hate him. If you hate him, then are you anti-Christmas? Are you just anti-Jolly? Anyway, anyway, that doesn't matter. Okay, let's get into it. Obviously, we got the Builder Base upgrades going, and we're going to get so many upgrades going in the home village. It's going to be crazy because we are super jealous of No Cash Clash and its Town Hall 13 progress. We need to get this ship going and try to steam past No Cash Clash. In fact, earlier this year, I predicted that I would pass No Cash by the end of 2021, and at this point, it looks like that is going to be a physical impossibility. So, all right, we've got some Invincigob action going right here as we slowed it down because I had to just check this out even if it was for myself to see these Invincigobs roll in and with the Warden ability, bore through that last wall segment and annihilate the town hall all while under the spell of the Grand Warden. So yeah, I, I don't know. We haven't really used this ability that much, but now that we have the G-Dub ready, you know, we've got him in these raids and I guess that's the difference. He was upgrading for so long, being a new hero just from Town Hall 11, that we just hadn't seen him that much until recently. So definitely use that Grand Warden ability as much as you can. Okay, so the upgrades are gonna fly by. We're not gonna spend too much time talking about the individual upgrade choices and that sort of thing. You know by now that we don't have that much left to go. We're gonna finish the walls. Maybe not by the end of the month, but very close to that. Probably by the end of the December pass, perhaps. We'll have enough loot and we will have finished the walls, but of course the defenses, we've got a few levels left. And as you can see, we've got a choice of defenses to upgrade and appreciating those season discounts so that the cannons are a mere 7.65 million. But there it is, no builders free, but that's okay because we're going to fast forward several times in today's video, including one brief trip away out of town for Thanksgiving before we catch up to the current day's state of Gold Pass Clash. Okay, so dropships have completed, as you can see, and then we've got one builder in the home village, but notice we've got way too much loot to only have one builder free because we don't want to waste it on just walls because the walls are going to get completed anyway, so let's go ahead, and that's right. We've got a lot of gems. We're going to use gems to finish an upgrade right here, and that's one of the beautiful things about this account. Gold Pass versus no cash, you're going to accumulate far more gems. And not just gems, but magic items in general. We've got the hammers, that's really, okay, that's not affected by whether you pay to play or not. But the books are, right? We've got books, and in fact, with, let's use a book right here, okay? The reason being, I hate barracks upgrades. It is my least favorite upgrade in the game of Clash of Clans. I hate upgrading barracks, and obviously you can see why, because it severely slows down the army training progress just like the way i'm talking is super frustrating okay so we did a uh, wizard tower get that over to the completed side and then get on to another day there we go fast forwarding drop ships again look at this guy he is just about ready to raid with drop ships and minions over there on the builder base in the meantime we had one more builder in the home village come free so we do a little bit of walls and a lot of defenses because we know that the walls are going to be done before anything else. Obviously, also the Grand Warden needs a few more levels, but he's really close, super close to being done, and we fast forward to another day. I told you this was going to go faster. Are you keeping up? Are you keeping up? Okay, we're going to use a rune of gold because now we had too much loot. I mean, too little loot. We had too much loot a minute ago. Now we have too little loot, too many builders, too few builders. You never know. Can't even keep up, right? So eh, there we go. Okay, so we kept up. We are up, and uh, what are we doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got the builder. We're going to go ahead and do a cannon because... That's right, it's the max level cannon for Town Hall 12 going over there. And oh, there it was, there it was. That was the big break over the Thanksgiving holiday. So we come back and the season has ended. We pick up tons more gems, mega loot, and we have all six builders free. I don't know why my voice got so high, but I was excited. When I saw six of six, it was like a mixture of excitement and pain, knowing that those builders had been very, very eager to get some upgrades going. And yes, the lab was vacant as well. This is a tragedy. 
Remember, the lab takes two years longer to max out at normal pace, so we got to get in there and make sure the lab is ocupado as much as possible. Muchas gracias. Okay, so the ice cones are going. That's a 10-day upgrade. And uh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let's go ahead and finish that with the book because I told you I had a lot of books, right? Okay, ice golem is done, so And we got tons of dark elixir, so let's go ahead and get... Yes, that's right. The lava hound, which I likely will never use, but, you know... For completion purposes, let's get it done. Okay, also completion purposes, always use code Galadon before buying anything in the shop if if you care. I mean, I appreciate it. I, I care, but I use code Galadon and I gave myself a 5% discount. Woohoo, 25 cents off the gold pass for December. And there's the Jolly Warden, whatever. Okay, I'm still waiting for my space-themed hero set that should come someday. We'll wait as long as we have to for that one. Okay, so the gold pass has begun. But no discounts yet, but that's okay. We've got a ton of builders. We've got a ton of loot. And let's see if we can get all six builders to work. Now, this is actually not as easy as it seems. When you've got six builders and a limited amount of loot, what you want to do to be most efficient in Clash is, of course, to get all six builders working immediately. So, we've got a warden level complete. We used a book. We've got another warden level underway. Then, we're going to go to some of the cheaper upgrades so that we can, again, get all six builders tied up. So, Tornado Trap on the way. Uh, giant Bomb on the way. And this, again, is very carefully calculated and reverse engineered so that we could get these things like a Spring Trap upgrading. Now we've got just two builders remaining. Hold on. I did this in my head. Okay, one more Spring Trap. There we go. One more Spring Trap upgrade leaves us with just one builder. And then we will go ahead and do the Mortar. And you'll notice that it does leave us with a bunch of extra gold, but that's okay because, boom, here we go. We come back and we got spring trap, spring trap, giant bomb ready. Three builders bursting. And we got to calculate this carefully because we only have a limited amount of loot to get in there. And so it's going to be a level three giant bomb. And then we've got two builders remaining. We're going to go ahead and go with another spring trap. And that will leave us with one builder remaining. If you can do the math, follow along. Okay, here we go. One builder and just over 10 million in loot. What do we got for 10 million? What do we got? What do we got? How about a cannon? There we go. Another cannon goes to level 16. And that is it. We are ready to take a deep breath because we have covered two months in one video. And now we can relax as we check out today's status report for Gold Pass Clash episode 95. Uh, notice this, we did not lose trophies. That was kind of nice. Maybe it was the base design, I don't know. But even while we were gone, we gained trophies, unlike No Cash Clash, which was way up in Champion League. The new season points will accumulate. The gems have definitely accumulated nearly 3,000. That feels really, really good. And then the Grand Warden almost maxed out with the other heroes. My next goal, of course, is to not be the only account at Town Hall 12. Thank you, Galifam, for watching all the way to the end of today's episode. You know you are the true hashtag Galifam. That is why I love thinking about it and appreciate every single one of you every single day. So get out there, make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to the people. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more of this. Galadon, you almost made it. You burst at the end. Made quite a miss. Too bad.